Hi guys, my name is Brianna and I am part of the salon centric team. A hidden rainbow literally means just that. We want a rainbow in the hair, but we want to make sure that we can hide it if we need to. So this is something that you can do for school or work or anything like that. There are a bunch of different options placement wise where you can put the rainbow and I'll show you that in a little bit. But first let's take a look at the colors that we're going to use today. I personally like to use pink in my rainbows instead of red. It gives it a little bit more of a neon and soft effect. So we have Cupid for our pink, Nuclear for our orange, Satire for our yellow, Area 51 for our green, and my personal favorite of the line is Blue Muse, and then our purple is Velvet. So all of these have been diluted with clear just to give it a little bit of a softer effect. You can make it even more soft with a, for a pastel look, or you can opt to not dilute it at all for a really bold and impactful look. Let's talk about placement. Today we're gonna go kind of in between super hidden and still being able to get a pop peeking through the hair. You're gonna go straight back and follow that all the way around to the other side. For the top, you can do it all the way to the hairline or you can make sure that you drop the hairline out so that when you're putting it back into a ponytail, it covers the color. Today we aren't going to do that, but that gives you the option to have it completely hidden when you wear it up. The other option you have is to decide how far down you want to go on the back of your head. So today we're going to have this middle chunk done so that when she wears her hair up, this will cover and still be natural. But if you wanted to have it to where your entire hairline was all rainbow, Bring the rainbow all the way down to the bottom of your hairline. So I like to get the section that I'm working with out of the way first, and then anything that's not getting colored, I will put into separate clips and take this back down. When you are doing vivids, especially rainbows, you wanna have a really light starting point. So that means blonde. What I mean by that is if I try to put blue onto even light brown hair. It is gonna give a little bit of a swampy green kind of look and something like a light pink just won't show on brown hair. That's why you have to lighten in order to get these colors to work. For today's look, I asked Felice what her favorite color was and what did you tell me it was? Pink. Pink. And I'm gonna start this section with pink. Pink to orange, to yellow, to green, to blue, to purple. The next section, I'm gonna start with the next color of the rainbow. The reason I do this is so that you have movement of the color throughout the hair. When you're working along the hairline, try not to get these colors on their skin because they do stain. What I'm doing now is making sure I get both sides of that section completely saturated and then I like to feather down so that there's a good stopping point to create a blend with the orange. Between each color, I am wiping my hands, and that is so that each color can live on its own and you don't get the residue from the previous one in there. Overlap just a little bit from the previous color and then blend. Remember to flip it around. and then through the rainbow in the order of the rainbow. That part is important because the colors blend together a lot better that way. Instead of trying to blend, let's say, blue into orange. So we've got the whole section applied. And as you can see, I made sure each side started with the same color so that when she puts her hair up, everything matches. When you change the starting color, it draws your eyes down instead of having all of the colors at the same level throughout her hair. Next step is to rinse. With Vivids, you need to use cool to cold water as you're rinsing out. No shampoo unless specified by the brand, but about 90% of Vivid colors do not need to get shampooed after application. These are conditioner based, so you don't need to do any kind of conditioner except for maybe a leave-in. So as you can see, it just peeks through, but if you were to raise it up just a little bit and you can put it up into a half up, half down situation, you get it to show a lot more. Yeah. 
All right, guys, thank you for watching. My name is Brianna with Salon Centric, and this was The Hidden Rainbow.